Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate smoke with grain texture like this in After Effects. So let's start. So here, we are going to create a shape with paint tool first. Let's create another shape in a different layer. Let's rename the layer. And then let's turn off the visibility of one layer and we are going to apply wave ref effect on this layer. Turn on effects and presets, type in wave warp. And we are going to apply this effect. Change the painting to bottom edge. Let's increase the height to about 90. And let's increase the width to about 200. And after that, we are going to give the direction of zero. Okay, let's increase the wave width even more. Give it 500. Maybe we can increase even more. So now we are going to copy this wave warp effect and turn on the visibility of this one and paste it over here and we are going to bring this down and apply it as an alpha mat and here you can see the shape of a smoke so now if we change the face we can add some irregularity in the smoke even we can vary the width with a bit Let's give it 1000. You can see a slight variation in this side of the smoke. Now after that, we are going to create another layer named smoke with grain. Let's bring in this coffee smoke layer in this composition. And let's put the anchor point somewhere around here. So we're going to apply a fill effect first. Let's change it to a different color. All right, now we're going to duplicate this layer once again, and we are going to scale it down in the x-axis and slightly scale up in y-axis. Let's change it to some lighter color. Alright, now we're going to apply roughen edges. So we're going to apply this effect on this layer. Now, we are going to increase the border to about 190. Well, we have to increase it even more. And we are going to change the scale to about 15. And you can already see some grain effect over here. And let's change it to spiky and it is going to give even better look over here so let's put it somewhere around here and we're going to scale it up a bit and here you can see the grain is also moving with the wave like this so after that if we zoom in we can see the grain is not animating. So we can do that as well. Slight noise animation. So for that, go to evolution options and we're going to add an expression on this random speed. Press and hold the alt key. Click on the stopwatch. And here we need to type in an expression, which is time multiplied by around eight. And right now you can see some noise animation what it does is the noise is going to move randomly eight times in a second if you increase this number 
the noise animation speed is going to increase. If we give it 15, you can see the noise animation speed is, has been increased. I'm going to keep it 8 for now. Now after that we can copy it or duplicate it once again. And we are going to scale it up a bit. Maybe change the color to some darker color. Somewhat like this and also I'm going to change the color of this fill and give a slight darker color. Okay, so here is our green textured smoke. Now this edge is very sharp still now. What we can do is we can simply copy this rough and edges effect and apply it on this layer. But we are not going to give this much roughness. So we are going to increase it, I mean decrease it to about 15. And here you can even see some noise texture crossing this boundary. For that we can duplicate this layer, put it above and apply it as an alpha mat. So after that you can apply it to a scene. So we are going to place it under this copy cup. Let's lock up the layers and we are going to bring in this smoke with grain below the coffee so let's put the anchor point somewhere over here scale it down a bit so we're going to turn off the opacity a bit to about 60 let's give it 70 and we are going to add mask on this layer and just mask it till over here go to mask and we are going to increase the feathering to about 150 let's increase it even more all right okay so that is how you can animate smoke with grain textures in after effects and if you want to apply grain texture throughout the scene then you can check out this lesson where i have explained how to apply grain texture on an object and animate shaded grain textures so go check it out i'm going to provide the link in the description and that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye